What's up, y'all? It's your boy Showtime Doctor. So I figured I'd take you on an adventure with me in the new event. I wanted to show you guys how I had my Safi build. We're going to focus on her. So this is what I'm choosing a runner with. Basic attack, speed 3, and attack 1. Speed 3 is crazy. That's going to be ridiculous. Assisting attack on anyone with Hangman's Mark, as long as she's nearby. Once around. This is the one where she can basically kill somebody that has the mark. As long as they're under 30% damage. This one, he's, she summons the agent. And then also puts up a good amount of debuffs. Which will be fun to use. And then this skill I'm really liking. Shadowless Blade. It pretty much it gives her dodge. A bunch of dodge. And then she does a gigantic 3x4 AoE. And puts up vulnerable too. Makes her pretty dumb. I'm Rona with the Ever Burning Blade. And we got Resonance as our little bonus here. You want your weapons hidden hard, right? I was saving that for another character, but whatever. We got her now. Arm Guard. It's from additional piercing damage. And then a Wheel of Fortune. So that's that. So let's go ahead and start this. All right, so this is going to be the fight. Actually fairly dangerous, 5-5 five, five here. So what I was most concerned about early was... Uh, that point right there and then this point right here where you got to deal with Magnus. Really did the archer along with Flash. And Wolfman McGee up there, so... I was trying to get out of that pincer attack, so what I was going to try to do was use Lily Will as a distraction. Go ahead and tank and distract the buff Magnus with Sapphia here. And then just do my best to resist all the damage because combined with their AoE slash long range skills, uh, Lash and... Alexi can definitely take out a lot of units. So I was a sacrificial pawn. I was using Princess Guard to try to draw them away. He did a phenomenal job, as you'll see coming up here. But then at the same time, I want all of Magnus's attention on Safia because he's her counter class. So since she can debuff him and take away his ability to hit this. It actually ended up working out really well. Little bit of cocoa buffage. And then of course a lot of people, uh, they don't think about this as a distraction. The lance on the ground, even though it's meant to provide a buff and free Gloria up and give her a little bit more damage. So here comes the debuffage, because we're all in on Magnus right now. If I can get him under 30%, he's pretty much as good as dead. And there goes Princess Guard, did a great job. And there's the other. I love summonable minions, I just love them so much, because they provide you with so much utility. Lily's running interference, just trying to get people infection and a little bit distracted while she can. We had a heal block on Rawia, which will not do because she gets buffer every time she heals. So we want that going as much as possible. And look at that, Sophia barely survived. So check it out. Let's see what she has. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so it worked out, baby. Look at those buffs. Hell yeah. That's funny though. Manages to survive a counter hit from arguably, except maybe Alexei, the hardest hitting tank in the game, general purpose at least. On their specific scenarios, I think they hit pretty hard too. So we got dots ticking. Pulling out my A Magic Joe strats. 
I was really concerned with this archer though, because I, I didn't want to go down there and DPS her, because then I'm trapped. I don't have enough units, especially down there, that have jump and climb and all those skills. So I was like, okay, we gotta open up this pathway here, because these guys are gonna be a lot easier to deal with right off. I just went ahead and amplified the debuffs on Lash there. Look at Safia just throwing down, it's amazing. I probably actually should have taken her execute on this. But all the skills ended up being really good that I selected, so... Kinda hard to choose sometimes. One of those good problems. Unfortunately, that was a crit. <laughs> the poor Coco ate it. My Coco's not the tankiest, but she's pretty built up. Gotta work on her a bit more. But I don't think even... If I had her where I want her, she'd survive an 11 <laughs> So this was like, I gotta get Safiya out of there, because that archer can one-shot her. And we gotta deal with these guys in the interim. We'll go ahead and get high ground for Lily. He's really good. And then we're gonna have Safiya go ahead. Ain't this nonsense. Because that, that spear guy, that lance guy, can actually hit pretty hard with this double attack. And it's a knockback, so it'll knock somebody back into the box or whatever. <laughs> Here, I actually should have put that on the other guy, the debuff, but... Oh well. Ended up working out anyways. <laughs> Never get told. Good distraction lands. I had a really loud plane outside just now. If he doesn't crash. Okay, so we've taken care of those guys, and then we're just going back up here. Uh, Lexi's actually going to kind of cut me off, which is a pain, because I knew the reason I'm not focusing on him is I knew it would take an additional round or two to kill him due to his passive. But dude's pretty mobile, so... I couldn't really cheese him. I was just going to, like, pelt him from afar. That wasn't gonna work, so I figured Rawia being the counter class. She could tank some of his his strikes, even though he's pretty uh hits pretty hard. Debuff special on him. <laughs> and normally I'm afraid to take Lily even that close to him. But since there's so many people in the way, it's fine there, but his AoE attack can still hit her. Even with her range bonus. And then I need someone to distract over here, but I, I kind of pulled the gun a bit too fast, unfortunately. I underestimate how fast Sophia can be when she has the speed buff. Bam, so here comes Alexi's passive. And now I'm like, oh great, I can't knock him away. <laughs> and Sophia gets one shot, so I gotta take her away from there. Warrior can handle it, and Ana can handle it. I'm not sure if Rawia can. She gets close. Lily definitely can. Get her nice and drunk so she has that reduction and ignore... Defense. And then this was just... I know he wasn't gonna die, but just to get more infection stacks on him in case that could kill him. And then Rawia's Dispel actually ends up pretty huge, because she's dispelling Core Drinker every time she's hitting him. Which is gonna be a problem. 
there you have it. <laughs> so now we're positioning because I got about four more rounds to take this guy out. But we gotta approach him in a way that I don't get some of the units one shot. And even Raui, I can get one shot right now. So get the debuff up. That double explosion thing is so cool. <laughs> and that was a perfect outcome for me right there. And on this map, I thought magic damage was blocked, but then Inanna ends up hitting that hard, so maybe it was just on the boss. I don't really read those anymore. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a smash in there, but apparently not. Yo, I'm Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR. You found my YouTube. Hit like and subscribe for the content. I will catch you guys another time. Take care.